Hey, good morning, friends. Uh, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, man, this literally does not work. You know, I stay busy. I do my keto diet and everything else. I do the Joe Blue Sports Report, and um, I'm constantly busy. I'm self-employed, so you literally have to keep moving when you work for yourself. So I still want to eat good, okay? Now, here's what I'm doing. Now, I should have done this last night, but I didn't. I should have, but I had to wait for the chickens to pile. But what I'm going to do to make my life easy is I'm going to do some Peruvian chickens. And here's the thing. This is actually not that difficult. You go to a Peruvian restaurant and you get them done and stuff and they're great and everything else to take home. But they put a lot of sugar sometimes in them. But I do these here and it's great because I can have chicken with green sauce for dinner. I can use the rest to make chicken salad or I can use the chicken for making chicken tacos. So you're cooking um, one meal but it's able to help take care of a couple of other ones and it's actually not as hard as you think and it's you know not a lot of ingredients so these two chickens right here i got them from bj's uh purdue chickens cost 11 bucks and that's a lot of chicken right there that's some big ass chickens so we're gonna make our sauce and it's best if you actually put this on the night before so it really can marinate in there but again I'm an idiot and I ended up taking the chickens out yesterday morning and thawing them out in the fridge and they weren't thawed out last night. But real easy, what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, marinade on it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take good old olive oil, put some olive oil in here, lots of olive oil, probably better if I use the bottle. I'm going to take a couple of limes. Put the lime juice up in there. Lime juice is fantastic on chicken. Also really good with rum. I've got over here too. You know, I'm always telling you guys about having your uh, tomato plants and your pepper plants and uh, your herbs, fresh oregano, just pulled it out there. And if you don't have fresh oregano, you can use some oregano, dried oregano, but if you get those fresh herbs, it's just that much better. All right, so we got our oregano, trying to pull out the bigger stems in there. Smaller ones aren't so bad. I got Michael out there painting doors. And I've got to go run out here in a little bit so I can get some, uh, go look at a bathroom. Do you have any baths? Um, yes, in the garage right there. All right, cumin. Cumin, great spice for chili, um, steak, and of course chicken. Paprika. You gotta love the paprika. And I like to use like the herb garlic seasoning. I'm just gonna take the top off. I like lots of that. And you need garlic. Fresh garlic. And we're just gonna grind all this together. And then we're gonna put it on the chicken. Oh, it's Peruvian Chicken Day? It's Peruvian Chicken Day. Awesome. I don't have a whole lot of time today. But it's kind of like, we can put it in the oven, we can set it, and forget it. I see somebody's hair in there. <laughs> Nothing like being photobombed. <laughs> so I'm putting about five cubes of a... Uh, uh, coats of garlic in this. We got all this goodness in here. And now I'm going to go put this in the, uh, that's actually in the pantry. I'll be back in one second. Got something there. 
We got the pepper. You gotta have pepper and salt, man. And salt. There we go. And it's a little on the thin side, so I put some more olive oil in it. Come on now, skill, skill, skill. So there's our seasoning here. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a fork. And we're going to take and pull the skin back. Up under it. Okay? I know. You don't like to deal with the chicken like that. But you want to pour some of that seasoning right up underneath that skin. And I'm going to tell you. What that does flavor-wise to that skin, woo! But we're gonna put that on here. Like I said, it's best if you do this the night before to really let the, the seasoning. All I can do is I guess what I saw on the plays that he was able to run, and I saw once again a special little player. He's a little special. Oh no, they didn't call Kyler Murray a special little player. Okay. So we get that in there like that, and then we're going to pour the rest of the seasoning and cover the chickens with it. Make sure you wash your hands real good after doing this, because you don't want to spread any salmonella. Oops, get rid of that. Now what you can do with this... Just like you see in the stores, you can do more than just two of these. In fact, it's just as easy to cook four of these at a time as it is to cook just two. And what I'm going to do is cook it out in my smoker. Because then, if you got a big family and all that, you got chicken and eggs. You can make chicken salad with it. You can make, uh, like I said, shredded chicken. You can just have chicken and nibble one. And you can see, look at that seasoning on those. So we're just going to cover these, put them out in the fridge. And then about 4 o'clock, I'm going to put them in for about 2 hours. And I won't have to touch them. That's it, and it's done. And then I'll just make some green sauce to go with them. So, the thing, remember, when you're touching raw meat, you want to use plenty of soap, get under those nails, Get into all those corners and cracks and stuff in there. And use hot water, 30 seconds minimum under the water, okay? Don't be afraid of the heat. And make sure that you use a little bit of bleach on the countertops. Just get like some kitchen bleach spray. And don't use the same sponge. Okay, so... All right, so I'll come back in a couple hours. I'll go out and I've got about oh, 100 miles of driving uh, for work to do, uh, getting stuff, and seeing people and things, and then I'll be back, throw that in the oven, and then tonight, of course, well, we'll be live streaming. So I don't want to ever hear anybody say they're too busy to cook a good meal. See you later. All right, it's about 3.30, and uh, I went ahead and got my smoker going. So here's what's good about this. I know... There's purists out there. There's purists out there that do not like propane. But you know what? I, I, I just, I like gas, okay? And I'm not talking about because I eat too many beans. But here's the thing. For me to be able to come out here, turn it on, set this thing up. I've got this thing set up at 375, right? In here, look, 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 look let, me, let me move the camera down here. Here's what I got. Look at this. Charcoal some wood chips and things in here right so that's going on that's going on 
charcoal is already getting lit. I can take me a few more pieces of wood and just set them in there like that. And we have smoke, glorious smoke. And what I'm fixing to do is, I'm gonna take these two chickens. These two chickens right here, you see that? We're gonna put those on the rack and we're gonna smoke this until those suckers are done, 160 degrees. I don't see my digital thermometer. What did I do with my digital thermometer? Huh. Well, they're going to smoke for about two hours at that 375. And I have a digital thermometer that I usually stick right into the thickest part there by the thigh to make sure it gets to 160. I'm going to find that. and It's got a nice alarm on it. And then we're going to come out and cook some cabbage to go with this. And we're going to make some green sauce. Huh. Getting forgetful. Here it is. Turn this thing on. And we're going to put meat. It's been through a few wars. I got a little too close one time and it melted the cover on it. Might be time to invest in a new one. Yeah. I think it's time to get a new one. Hmm. Let me try changing the batteries. Ah, here we go. So meat, beef, fowl, beef, veal, chicken. Boom. So it's saying it's 78 degrees out here. We're gonna stick this into it. And what's nice about this is it has an alarm that I can actually hear in the house. So it's like beep, beep, beep. There, we're gonna stick that there. And you see, ooh, that chicken's cold. You see the temperature is dropping down. So at least we know our refrigerator works because the temperature on that sucker is, looks like it was 37 degrees. All right, so we only have about 130 degrees to go. Now, I'll come out in maybe about a half an hour and I'll add some more wood chips to this. But because this is not like your slow cooking of like um, pork shoulder stuff where you're cooking at like 220 degrees, this will actually cook pretty quickly. Um, so to speak, you know, about two hours, two hours, 15 minutes, roughly, depending on how big the bird is. Um, one way that you can think about it is it's about 20 minutes per pound. So a five pound bird should take an hour and 40 minutes. Six pound bird would take two hours. So we'll see how it goes. We'll be back later and we'll bring this out live. So this is prep for dinner. See you. Got some more work to do.